Hi, I'm Stan Oley, the Product Marketing Specialist with Playmate Ball Machines. We thought it'd be very important to film a video uh, explaining or educating you on the differences between throwing a pickleball as opposed to a tennis ball. First, when we pitch a tennis ball, we squeeze it almost in half to be able to pitch it and impart the necessary speeds and spins that a player would need in tennis. Uh, with regards to pitching a pickleball, we just grab it. So if we were to actually squeeze the ball, we would most likely break it. So there's some different dynamics we have to discuss here when we just grab the ball. First, it cannot get wet. And I, I know most people uh, understand the fact that it obviously can't be used in the rain or it cannot be have it land in a puddle and be put back in the machine. But there's some other things that could cause the ball to get wet you may not think about. First, if we have a climate controlled room we store the ball machine in and we take it outside into a hot humid area, um, the balls may condensate and get very slippery and they, they, they will probably likely jam. So it's like, it's like leaving a store and your sunglasses fog up. Uh, you get that kind of a, a steamy, kind of foggy on your sunglasses. The same happens here with the ball. So you may want to let the balls acclimate for a good 10 or 15 minutes before you try pitching them. Next, if a ball were to go outside the fence for whatever reason and be thrown back in by somebody, um, a lot of times the grass is wet due to sprinklers, dew, or fog in the morning, and that ball must be properly dried off before being put back in the machine or it could jam. Uh, next, uh, if the ball gets very cold, uh, we highly recommend do not use the uh, uh, machine under 40 degrees. Under 40 degrees, we found that the ball gets very hard and slippery and can possibly jam. Also, um, when you look at this ball, it's been used a lot and so it's very chalky and from the abrasiveness of the quartz and such, and it, it also, I can squeeze it. And so it's lost its resiliency and again, could be problematic in the machine. So make sure that you, you check the balls periodically. Also, it would be a very poor guest experience to throw all three of these balls in the machine and expect the same outcome. Um, they're all gonna throw a different distance or different height and speed because they're, they're different manufacturers, they're different qualities. So um, donations aren't recommended by the members uh, in mixtures of balls. When you change the balls, you should change them all at the same time to get the best guest experience, just like you would in a tennis machine. Uh, next, uh, as an instructional purpose, I've jammed the ball here. And so I wanna show you how to unjam a ball just in case uh, one were to occur. Uh, I wanna first turn the machine off. It's a little on-off rocker slip switch here. I turn that off and then I come into the back of the machine and I unhook the battery harness by pinching it and removing it. And then I come into the front of the machine. I wait for the wheels to slow down and stop. And then I see here, there's a lower pitching wheel and there's an upper pitching wheel. I wanna take my hand and gently pull that wheel forward and the ball will present itself and you can just take your fingers and remove the ball. Very simple stuff. Uh, please never, ever put a foreign object in here to remove anything. Uh, it could damage or bend the internal mechanisms and uh, permanently damage the machine. If you have any questions regarding how to do this procedure, please call the factory at 800-776-6770 and they will point you towards your local authorized sales and service center to help you. Thank you and we'll see you on the courts.